Good morning, YouTubers. Hey, all of you folks out there, uh, cooks, wannabe cooks, homemakers, homesteaders, whatever, anybody that ever thought about wanting to make your own meatloaf, I got a simple, delicious recipe for you I want to go over here today. And it's the easiest one I've ever found, and I'll be honest with you, it's the best one I've ever found. And the way we're making it today, it's actually low-carb, for those of you who are on low-carb. Now, it's not actually carnivore but it is low carb and I'll show you that part when we get to it right now we're gonna start off with two to three pounds of good ground beef now, I got some a little bit of ground turkey in there too which makes it a little bit leaner so I'm going to uh, adjust some of my recipe accordingly I generally prefer to use 80 percent ground beef in my meatloaf uh, right now I'm gonna cut up a whole large onion I mean not huge but large average size onion we're gonna chop that baby up and try to keep the fingers out of it. Uh, doesn't have to be little bitty pieces, just uh, enough so that it'll soften up and uh, be at one with the hamburger. Amen. Okay, one more piece here. Get this chopped up. Onion, you know, the onion is what gives a meatloaf its flavor. You can put all, some people put all kinds of spices in meatloaf and this and that and the other. I, I hesitate to ever order meatloaf in a store or in a restaurant because. It, a lot of times I just don't like the seasonings they put in. This is really simple, and it's really good. And once you taste it, it's the only one you're ever going to want to use again. We'll get that in there. You can kind of see how much how much we got. Just just go by eye. There's no actual no actual recipe on any of this. Just go by how it looks. Now we're going to do some eggs. You got to have eggs in your meatloaf. Um, let's see this. No, I think I like. Yeah, I like the I like the pink. I like the pink bowl better, so we'll use that. Let's use the blue one to hold the the, the uh, shells in. That'll work. Okay, we're going to put some eggs in here. Um, I think we're going to use probably four. We'll see. Now, in this case, after I got, you know, every 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 batch of meatloaf is a little different because different fat level contents and stuff. I put in an extra egg in this one because of having the the uh, turkey burger in there. I thought it might be a little leaner, might be should use something more to uh, kind of bind it together it could have been just as well off with one less egg but we got four in there and it actually came out really good anyway here we go we're going to beat these up now four eggs yeah that's right four okay <laughs> a lot of folks uh, i've seen a lot of folks when they make meat loaf or anything like this they'll just break the eggs right in on top of the meat and then just try to squish it all together and I guess you can do that but you know I'm I guess I'm just a little bit anal but I kind of like to have my eggs all beaten up before I add them to the bowl that way I know it's going to be evenly dispersed now here comes a secret weapon for the uh, low carb part of this uh, we've got uh, bread here you got to have some kind of filler to bind your meatloaf my mother-in-law used to use crackers and somewhere along the line my wife decided that bread would be better and she was right by golly it is I like it better than crackers now here's the deal this bread is, is keto friendly bread it's one net carb net carb per slice of bread so where since we put put in four eggs we're gonna put in four slices of bread now my wife just tears these up by hand uh, but she gets some pretty big pieces in there sometimes and that kind of tastes a little pasty if you get a hold of a big great big chunk of bread so I like to cut them up I chop them up in cubes about a half inch cube something like that if you get them real small then they don't really do any good I mean they don't really hold stuff together and they just kind of get uh, mushy in there so a half inch cube works really well I'm still at this point you can see I'm still trying to figure out exactly how much to put in there because there's really no recipe so let's put in these three and see what it looks like. There we go. No blood yet. That's good. There we go. There's three slices of bread. We got four eggs in there. Um, yeah. See what it looks like. Yeah, let's do one more. We'll put him in there too. One more slice of bread. Cut it up about a half inch cubes. Don't have to be cubes. You can tear it up or, you know, however you want to do it. But uh, I like them uniform. You might not. You know, some, some people, uniformity drives some people just absolutely up the wall. And they don't want anything uniform. So, you know, it's your meatloaf. You do it how you want it. And this is all about taste. And so you're going to have to experiment a few times. The texture is different. Oh, we're going to put in some salt. I think that was a tablespoon of salt. And we're going to put in half of it. And, um, well, let's look. Nah, let's put a little more in. 
okay there's a about half as much pepper and again it's to taste you just figure out and you can always add the pepper and salt afterwards it's meatloaf you know it's it's gonna that stuff's gonna work into it afterwards now we're gonna put some eggs in there and yeah we'll just put them all in there we go yeah move that aside it's in the way there you go okay now here comes the fun part yeah you remember when you were a kid it, well part of you if you grew up on a farm in the 50s and 60s you went barefooted most of the summer or at least we did and you know the whole farm had we raised animals and, uh, and everywhere we went there was animal stuff and mud squishing up between our toes and this is kind of a throwback to our childhood so there we are get your hands all messy in there and get that squished in don't need to don't we're not trying to knead it we're not trying to like you know blend it or anything just want to get it all kind of in, incorporated together so that the the egg and the hamburger juice will have a chance to soak into the bread and kind of soften it up here's my dirty oven we're going to set that at 375 degrees if i can turn it on there it goes 375 and my oven's a little bit wimpy so i always give it just a little extra it's kind of it's old and it's kind of it's kind of tired and so it doesn't always get up to heat quite where it should we're going to start out for a, with a half an hour here 30 minutes and during that 30 minutes we're gonna uh while that's preheating we're gonna let that bread and everything rest and set together and here we are it's it's uh most of that time's already gone but we want to spend that time for the the bread and the egg and the seasoning to all kind of marry up now we're putting it in the loaf pan now i'll be honest with you i usually don't use a loaf pan i usually like to take my uh my uh, meatloaf and put it on a sheet of put a sheet of foil on a rack under with, over a pan and then put my meatloaf on there and shape it however i want to and then I'll poke drain holes down through the oil. It, it just seems like uh, you don't get quite as greasy of a meatloaf that way. But since this was leaner, I thought maybe we want the grease in there. Well, looky there. Somebody snuck in there that first half hour when that was in the oven, and they put bacon on top of that. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Now, here's where we kind of get away from our uh, low-carb part. And you don't have to do this because it really doesn't add much to the flavor. But I kind of like to have a little ketchup uh, just kind of marbleized on, caramelized, that's the word, caramelized on top of there. And my wife does too, and she likes raw onions on top of it, browned up. So right now, that's a, I think that meatloaf is about 130 degrees at this point. So we're going to put that stuff on there, and we're going to put him back in the oven for probably almost a half an hour more. So we'll get him in there and let him caramelize let those onions brown mm, oh my gosh it's smelling so good right now oh there it is look how brown those onions are look at that that juice is bubbling up out of there let's check the temperature 165 is plenty done and we're just there it went we're just over 165 so we're just about perfect there on that doesn't that look good i'd send you some but i think it'd be cold by the time it gets there so here we go we're going to cut it just cut it down with the spatula. That is wonderful, wonderful meatloaf, isn't it? Doesn't that look good? 